Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by tonight. An all-time classic sandwich, Philly cheesesteak. Seasoned ribeye beef, caramelized onions, peppers, and provolone cheese, all cooked up on the black stone griddle. Classic sandwich, really delicious and easy to do. So stay with me, I'll show you my take on how to make this sandwich. First, just chop up some onion into strips. Now, I'm going to be caramelizing my onions. You don't have to. It takes about 45 minutes to do that. But just cut your onions up until they look a little like this. Hot skillet, medium-high heat. Hit it with some oil. Throw in your onions. And we're going to cook these for about five minutes until they just start to soften. To help that along, go ahead and put a cap on it. And then after five minutes, take that cap off. You can see they've reduced significantly and they've started to brown. Season with kosher salt. Also some coarse black pepper and some garlic powder. Yum, yum. All right, stir that around a little bit. And like I said, it's going to take 45 minutes to cook. Allen low, reduce your heat. And after that, look at that. Set those aside for now. Now where is the beef? All right beef ribeye you can also use sirloin you know how it's hard to cut thin strips of raw meat here's a tip cover it up in plastic wrap put it in the freezer for about 45 minutes to an hour after that it really makes it easy to cut this beef up into thin strips like you see here and just cut that steak up until all of your beef looks like this set that aside for now cut you up a green bell pepper and a yellow bell pepper and let's start the cooking medium high heat on your blackstone hit it with a little oil take your spatula and just spread that around till it's evenly coated first we're going to cook our peppers it's only going to take about six to seven minutes for that season it with some kosher salt some coarse black pepper and also some garlic powder be sure to season each stage of this dish all right to help them soften up cover them up with a squirt of water and after that they're pretty well softened just push them to a side all right let's get to that beef look at that perfect all right spread this around guys it's not going to take long for this thin beef to cook about four or five minutes if that season with kosher salt and coarse black pepper and a little bit of garlic powder perfect all right now when it's almost done just move that aside add your caramelized onions we'll warm these up a little bit because they've been sitting around on the counter all right then add the onions to the beef along with the peppers and give it a good mix. Next step is to add the cheese. Once you separate this into like little piles, because I'm gonna be making two sandwiches, just like that, and then top it with your favorite cheese. Reduce your heat down to about medium low, and then lay on your provolone cheese. Now, another favorite cheese for this sandwich is Cheese Whiz. I like either one, but tonight I've just got provolone, so that's what I'm gonna do. Cover it up to help that cheese melt. When it melts, Go ahead and just stir everything together. Let everybody get to know each other. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. All right. Throw in a couple of pats of butter. We want to toast the buns. You don't have to. I just like toasted buns. That only takes a minute or so to do that. And after that, take your hoagie bun, put it on top of your cheese steak, and scoop it in. Have a look at that sandwich. Absolutely perfect. Hey, guys. Absolute classic sandwich, delicious, easy to do. I hope y'all give this a try. And hey, it's extra special on that Blackstone griddle. If you don't have one, check it out. It's really the ultimate cooking experience. I hope y'all can get one. Well, there you go, guys. Blackstone Philly Cheese Steak Sandwich. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye, y'all.